Hi, this is Jack Westman for ESEANews.com here in Jönköping, Sweden for Dream Winter 2014. Joining me this time is Exist from Team Ninjas in Pyjamas, who've just defeated Virtus Pro here in the first semi-final of the day. Uh, Exist, first of all, congratulations. What are your initial thoughts on the game you just played? Thank you. Um, we started really slowly on Nuke, but I think it was good that we started as terrorists, because mm. our city side is very good and uh, I think it showed. Um, we made a big comeback there on Nuke and uh, it was unbelievable. We should have won the first overtime though, but we managed to win the second one. <laughs> on Cash, we uh, just got outplayed by them. They won both pistol rounds and uh, we, we're, we're terrible on Cash to be honest. And right. it's, it's like one of their strongest maps, so we weren't expecting to win <coughs> easily on that map. And uh, yeah. And uh, Inferno. <laughs> Inferno, we just started really strong. It reminded me of DreamX summer, I think, 2012 or winter, I don't know, against very Games, a long time ago. Yep. Same situation, like 14-1 first half, we just played very good. So the first map on Nuke, that was your map choice, right? Um, it started off very CT-sided. You both got 12, three CT-sides, and then you went into overtime, and all of a sudden it became T-sided, and people were winning two rounds to one. And uh, what was that change? Does it, does it become easier to play T-side on Nuke when you've had chance to see the other team's defense? Yeah, for sure. I mean, if you look at the end of Nuke, the regular, uh, regular rounds as terrorists, we kind of figure out how, how they play the CT and we figure out how to beat them. Yeah. I think that showed us in, in overtime and same goes for them. And, of course, then you moved on to Cash, which was the next map. You say by your own admission you played terribly. <laughs> was, was Cash kind of... You knew it wasn't a great map for you, you knew Virtus Pro were good on it. Did you, did you kind of just write it off before you even started and say, we're going to lose this, let's look at Inferno? Or No, no, we, can, we can't do that. I mean, we tried our best and uh, we wanted to win, of course, and we did our best, but we just got outplayed. Yeah, and finally, the last map you did play was Inferno. Um, again, the 14-1 CT side. Do you think Virtus Pro were just maybe caught off guard? Because you, you anti, sorry, you echoed them on the very second round and broke their bye. Do you think they were just maybe a little bit shell-shocked by that? I mean, I think it's kind of normal to win eco rounds nowadays because the seaside is very good and you have scouts and you have shot counts. It's, it's kind of 50-50 in my, my opinion. A special map like Nuke on, or Inferno, stuff like that, maps like that. It's, yeah. it's uh, kind of easy to win those rounds. Do you think that eco rounds are better now that the CZ has been introduced and, you know, it's, you, like you say, it's 50-50 or would you rather see the CZ you know, it's a hot topic, right? What, what, what would you do to the CZ? I mean, another problem with the CZ is that if you're an upper and you miss your shot and they come close to you, mm. you can just pull out your CZ and insta headshot him. Yeah. So that, that's a big problem with the CZ. And um, with eco rounds, I think the 5.7 is already good enough as a eco weapon. Yeah. So you don't really need the CZ in the game, in my opinion. But then again, that's something us pros and the community and Valve have to to work on, I guess, to what to do about it. Okay, well, like I said, it is a hot topic, right? Um, okay, so you're now, you've now advanced to your, uh, I don't know what number final this is for you guys, but you're, uh, you, you're the defending champions, you're going to another final here at a major. Um, obviously, you don't know who you're playing yet, um, the, but d did you expect to be back in the final so soon after making a team change like you did, swapping Fifthland for Makaleli? Yeah, I mean, I expect us to win here. There's nothing more about it. We play really good. Michael is a very good player and I think we just step up our games at majors meanwhile other teams just become worse I guess. The nerves. Yeah, that's quite interesting because Heaton said you guys weren't really looking to win. You were just looking to you know, get Makaleli in the team and, and incorporate him. But you guys were, I guess you always come to win, right? You always look to take it all. I mean, I guess that's just a trick from him to remove the pressure from us and everyone is counting on us, uh, everyone is not counting us on us to make the finals. We're like underdogs there and we like it. Well, speaking of pressure, do you feel pressure as the defending champion or was three months, has too much water gone under the bridge to create that pressure for you guys? Nah, we, we've already won a major, so there's no big pressure like it was in Cologne. There we had a lot of pressure. So we have the crowd with us here and they will, they will cheer us to victory. And uh, I'm aware you do want to get back to your team. I've got two more questions. Um, you'll either, well, obviously there was the whole Fnatic and LDLC 
uh, issue yesterday. Um, and some of your teammates were chiming in on Twitter. I think maybe you as well mentioned something on Twitter. Are you glad that LDLC have advanced to the semi-finals? Is that justice in your eyes? Just to pick your brains on that topic quickly. I think it would be fair to replay the second half yeah. of the game because it wasn't fair against LLC. It was a dirty trick, in my opinion. Yeah. But then again, there's no real clear rules against it, so you can't really blame Fnatic for doing it. Mm. Um, I don't know. This not really a fair answer from my perspective, I guess. Yeah, it seems like everybody has a different view, a different perspective. Uh, and last question. So... In your groups, you lost to LDLC. Um, they were the only team you've lost to so far, I think. And you're potentially facing them here in the final as well. What What are you going to do differently to beat them this time? Are they a team that you can consistently beat, or how do you feel about them? I mean, we have had really big problems against LDLC. Well, I mean, those players like Shoxi, we have, we have had problems against Shoxi's team, in, teams in general, yeah. the last months and. What we can do differently, I don't really know. We just have to play our game and hopefully the crowd can cheer us up and motivate us even more. You know. Do you really feel the motivation from the crowd when you sat on the stage? Yeah, I mean, it's amazing. It's like 1,500 people or something like this. <laughs> just every kill, they're like sharing so much and yeah, it's, it's amazing. All right, okay. Exist, thank you very much. I will let you get back to your team. You. And uh, for everyone at ESCA.net and ESCANews.com, stay tuned for full coverage here in Jönköping, Sweden.